Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote and this is a Math in Minutes series. Today's video is about factoring monomials. So let's start with an example that's pretty straightforward. What we're doing is we're looking for what does 8r cubed and 6r squared have in common. And just like when you took out the greatest common factor, you're going to do exactly the same thing. First we look at 8 and 3, right, and negative 3. The only thing they have in common is a 1. That's the only factor they have in common. So we're going to go ahead and put that 1 down. In the past we didn't always put the 1 down, now we're going to. Now we're looking at the variables, r squared and r cubed. r squared has two r's, r cubed has three r's, so what they have in common are the two, the two r's. So we're going to take 8, r cubed divided by r squared is r, r squared divided by r squared is 1, so it's negative 3. So when we go ahead and we go to write it in proper notation, it's r squared times 8r minus 3. In other words, we're doing the reverse of the distributive property. The r squared comes from up here, and the 8r minus 3 comes from right here. Let's do another one. 6j cubed plus 8j squared. What number can we take out of both 6 and 8? We can take a 2 out. 6 divided by 2 is 3. I'm bringing my j cubed down. 8 divided by 2 is 4. I'm leaving my plus sign alone right now. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Bringing my j squared down. Now I look at the 3 and the 2 and I say, is there anything else I can take out of both of those? And, and just one, so I don't need to write that at this point. I have my j cubed and my j squared. Again, I have two j's here and three j's here. So what they have in common is three j's. I'm sorry, what they have in common is two j's. Two here, three here. So if I take three j cubed divided by j squared, I get j. There's three on the top, two on the bottom. If you cancel out, you'll end up with one j. So this is three j plus and if I take j squared over j squared, I get 1. They cancel each other out. So I just bring down my 4. So factor this, it's 2j squared times 3j plus 4. If you choose to put both of these in parentheses, that is technically correct, but there's a number of software programs that are available online that will count that as incorrect. This is what they count as correct. So make sure you know that Mathematically, they're equivalent, but in terms of computer software, sometimes you have to play the game and use their, uh, their nomenclature. What about when we have a problem like this? 3D plus 9. No worries, exact same process. What number do I take out of the 3 and the 9? Is there a factor that they have in common? And there is, it's a 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's just D and three, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now I look at this. There's not a variable in this one, so I'm done. To factor that, it's 3, this 3 right here, times d plus 3, this monomial right here. Don't be afraid if it looks like you're wiping things out. Just remember that when you divide, your answer is 1 not 0. So what number can I take out of both of these? 4 and 4, the factor they have in common is 4, which leaves me x to the 4th plus x to the 3rd. What can I take out of both of these? I can take an x to the 3rd out. x to the 4th divided by x to the 3rd leaves me 1x. x to the 3rd divided by x to the 3rd is 1, and now I'm done because I can't take anything else out of here. So I'm going to put these two together, 4x cubed. And I'm going to put these two together, x plus 1. Notice I always put this in parentheses because I want to remember it's, I'm distributing. Basically what I'm doing is backwards of dis distribution. Okay? Let's do two more problems and we'll call it a day. We have 27x to the 4th minus 9x to the 4th. 
All right, so far so good. When I see 27 and 9, I hope you think it too. I automatically think of 3. 3 will work. 27 divided by 3 is 9, x to the fourth, minus 9 divided by 3 is 3, x to the fourth. And now I'm going to look at 9 and 3 and ask myself, is there a factor that 9 and 3 have in common? And indeed there is, it's 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. I'm going to leave my minus sign there. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now I'm going to look at my variables, x to the fourth and x to the fourth. Is there something they have in common? Well, yeah, it's x to the fourth. So when I take 3x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth, I get 3. And when I take negative 1x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth, I get 1. And 3 minus 1 is what? It's 2. So when I put all of this together, I'm going to multiply these, which is 9x to the fourth times 2, which is really 18x to the fourth. And you might be thinking, wow, that's weird because there's no plus or minus sign. If you go back to the original problem, if I combine like terms when I start out, I have 27x to the fourths and I'm going to subtract 9x to the fourths, guess what I get? That same 18x to the fourth. So don't panic if it doesn't look like everything else did. You're probably still on the right track as long as you follow the process every single time. Last question. 18x to the sixth plus 32x. Now, I'm going to take a 2 out. And I know that's 9x to the 6 plus 16x. Is there anything I can take out of 9 and 16? I want to because they're both really big numbers. But the factors of 9 are 1, 9, and 3, and 3. The factors of 16 are 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. They have no factors in common other than what we've already taken out. The 9 and the 16 have nothing in common. So let's look at the variable x to the 6 and x. Well, I can only take out an x. Remember, bring that 9 down with that x, only now it's x to the fifth because I've taken 1 out. Bring that 16 down, that x goes away because it's x divided by x. And so I multiply these two together and I get 2x times 9x to the fifth plus 16. Again, you can put both of them in parentheses if you choose. Mathematically, they are equivalent and that's perfectly correct. But a lot of software programs that you're going to use in online programs require you to write it in this format. So make sure you know what format you need to use in order to get a question correct. If you have any questions on factoring monomials, please email me. Have a good day.